I want to talk about fear this morning because I see a lot of people who are stuck, stuck, stuck. And what I'm finding in my life and in the lives of those around me is that fear is a form of faith, but it's in the wrong person. And so we work on our fear, we massage our fear, we talk about our fear. Oh, I can't, I won't, not, 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 not. And really what we need to be doing is talking about our faith because fear, believe it or not, is a really subtle form of pride. Because when you're living a life of faith, it's on God, it's through God, it's for God. You know God is the center and the source. But when it's about fear, it's on you. You're afraid you can't do it. You're afraid you don't have all the answers. You're afraid that you might fail. You're afraid about you, you, you. And you're the center of your fear. And so then you quit and stop and whine and blame. And you throw all this energy, all this creative power that you have. I do the same thing all this creative energy that God has given us, and we pour it out and waste it. When what God wants us to do is grab all that energy and keep funneling it toward Him. It's on you, Lord. It's about you. It's for you. It's through you. It's to you. It's your story. I'm part of your story, and you can't be stopped. And so if I work on my faith and I step out just because God is there, every time God is there, and no, I can't see when I step out of the boat, I can't see what's going to happen next. No, I can't see when you step through the parted waters. I can't see. No, I can't see when he calls me to a place that I've never been before. I can't see the answers, but I know him, and he makes all the difference. And I want to just challenge you this morning that we are living less than, less than who we are, less than what we can have, do, be, and are, because we keep listening to the voices instead of the voice of truth that we keep quitting instead of faithing, that we keep believing it's on us instead of walking in the truth that it's on Him. What are you facing today? What are you quitting on today? What are you holding back today? Because you simply refuse to go, Lord, it's you. It's all you and I believe you. Work on your faith today. It'll change your life. It will propel you into action regardless of the outcome because He is there and He is our rock. I love Psalm 62. Lord, I know one thing I know that you're strong. Second thing I know is that you are loving. And when you anchor yourself in the faith and the truth of God, it changes all these circumstances. And then you don't just pour out your life, but you pour into the life of God. And it puddles up and spills out. And it changes everyone around you, including you. Let God be the source of your faith instead of you being the center of your fear.